What's going on guys? Today we're going to do more of a vlog type video. Um, I've got a couple things I need to do really quick and uh, I'm actually have just sold the Miata wheels so we're going to get those shipped out and uh, stuff like that. Go to the gas station and redeem a couple uh, lottery tickets. I actually won from Christmas and uh, I hope everybody had a good Christmas by the way. Um, actually turned to be turned out to be fairly warm here so that's pretty good. Uh, it's always nice to have warmer weather in the winter season. But uh, yeah, let's get going and doing that stuff. All right, so right now guys, we're at the bank. I just have to deposit the check he sent me for the wheels and tires, and yeah. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Deposit and savings, please. Okay. It's a lot more fun to do that when it's warm, and uh, yeah, I guess when it's warm, it's pretty much it. <laughs> boxes and parcel depot all right so just got everything shipped uh, was a pretty penny to ship but uh, actually uh, they should actually get there tomorrow considering they're only going to uh, mid mid upper Wisconsin uh, something like that so uh, supposedly they'll actually get there tomorrow so uh, I guess he'll be happy to get them in pretty much overnight fashion but they really aren't going that far um, so, got those sold. I guess we are going to head to a gas station and redeem my lottery tickets. Um, there was something else. Oh, we got a couple packages to open at the house. Um, some more stuff for the car, I guess, install. So, I uh, probably won't get to that today, but I can definitely show you guys what comes in the packages. Uh, so, yeah, I guess let's redeem my uh, couple bucks in lottery tickets. Got some fresh scratch offs. Yeah, I know I'm cheap. I only got the two and one dollar ones, but hey, let's see if we win anything when we get home. I don't know about you guys, but I hardly ever win the lottery. So when I won like seven bucks on two tickets, I was like, hey, uh, I was pretty happy with that. So yeah. Another thing is, I always have to get ID'd because even though I am of age, I guess either A, I don't look like it, or uh, B, I must be on the border so they have to ID me. So, uh, kind of annoying, but I understand that it is uh, needed. Even though just the other day when I uh, bought one of those other tickets that just redeemed, the guy didn't ID me, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. Man, it is so nice having like next to no snow on the ground. Just the other day it rained, so all the salt got washed away. You're able to have a clean car, you don't have to wash it like every day if you want it to look decent. Oh man. Look at that. 36 degrees outside. Oh, that feels so nice. Feels so nice after being like zero and you know, even like negative five for highs. It just the sun shining and all the melting going on just feels so good compared to uh just uh, last week. 
like I said, Christmas the other day. Man, 50, we got up to like 52 or something, but it was late at night, but it carried into the next day. So, uh, man, it felt nice the past couple days, including today. So, uh, I'm definitely not complaining. But, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out what I got in the mail today. I can't forget if I got one or two things, but I definitely did get some more products for this car. So, uh, can't wait to open. And another thing about the Miata wheels I just shipped out is uh, the guy actually does autocross. He has a 2006 Miata. So, uh, I think it's fairly stock. I think he said one thing I remember is it had a roll bar in it. But, uh... He does autocross it and he plans on these wheels getting them powder coated a different color. So uh, I think that'll be very cool and uh, can't wait to see what color he does and uh, how they look on his car. So I uh, might have to ask him for pictures or something sometime. But uh, you know, I kind of want to autocross this car, but you know, that's quite a lot of work because you got to strip everything out. And I don't know, we'll see in the future, I guess. <laughs> If you guys think I should, then uh, definitely leave a comment or something and uh, let me know. Alright, get three sevens in the same row, comma, or diagonal line when that price shown. Oh! Oh, look! Oh! Oh! Oh, speaking, speaking about not winning anything, oh! Look at that! Look at this! See if it'll focus. Sevens, sevens, two dollars on a one dollar ticket. Oh man, makes me happy. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got. Show you guys who it's from first of all. JDM a star or uh, however you pronounce that, but yep. Let's see. So, got some good stuff here. As you guys can see for now, it is LED bulbs. One of the gifts I got for Christmas was actually this uh, WeatherTech branded, I guess, um, washing kit. It's got the uh, wheels on it, and it's got a little pad on top so you can actually sit on it and everything like that. Uh, it's definitely got a nice bucket. Oh, with a nice lid and all that, and it's got the grit guard down at the bottom. Definitely nice to have this and uh, officially wash my car the right way. Even though I don't have two buckets, I got the grit guard and everything like that. So that'll definitely be a lot better than the normal bucket and stuff I'm using right now. So uh, yeah, definitely like that. Wonder what that is. Hmm. So. So the one last thing I wanted to get done today was um, fixing the driver's side of my exhaust. Since I put it on, there's been like a small rattle and it's kind of been, I think, hitting on the bottom of the bumper. Not exactly sure on that one, but I was Googling online for ways to fix that and uh, a method that I saw of raising the exhaust was actually using a hose clamp to uh, hose clamp the rubber hangers, I think it was. So I've uh, got some of these hose clamps lying around, so I thought maybe I'd give it a try and see if I can tighten that one up like the other side and hopefully get rid of that rattle. And I also have a small exhaust leak at the uh, flange for the whole system. So uh, I ordered some gasket maker, so hopefully I can put some gasket maker in there and that'll fill in the seam. It's really not a bad leak, so I'm not concerned about it right now, but uh, I've definitely ordered some of that, so hopefully that'll be coming in the near future. But uh, let's go ahead and try this out and see how it works. Here's the part I'm talking about. I'm not sure if it's the tips hitting, because those tips are a lot tighter to the bottom there, or if it's some of this other stuff up here hitting, but this is the hanger I wanna try and uh, mess with. It could also be that area there hitting against the bottom of the EVAP canister, I believe it is, but uh... Yeah, 
So here's how it turned out. That's pretty much all it is. Did tighten everything up, so uh, everything's a lot more sturdy now. So uh, hopefully that's it. And I can be done with that. Now the exhaust leak I'm talking about is right there. You guys can uh, see it dripping. Now on a different note, uh, I guess things are heading towards 2017. I guess 2016 has to end eventually. And with that being said, um, I want to make 2017 the year of growth.